This is Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and I dropped in just to see what John, he's our tech at Bernina of Naperville, and uh, he's the one that's gonna take care of all of your machines and make sure everything is running exactly like it should. And he's servicing a machine today that we found some interesting things on, and we just wanted to share with you how these things happen and maybe how you could even get some of this stuff out there if you need it. I think that's right. All right, John, we're going in. John, okay. the YouTube subscribers. Oh, <laughs> All right, hang on. All right, what are we looking at here? This is the hook driver of a 570. Okay. And as you can see, one of the fingers here that helps spin the hook has got some thread stuck around it. So what causes that? Well, extra thread, uh, the, uh, the loose ends not being picked out, some of the threads that's cut off gets dropped down there okay or a jam and the uh the customer doesn't quite get all the thread out and it just wraps around the finger okay so would a machine sew with that gunk of thread back there like that it could but you're not going to get any perfect stitch with that your tensions are going to show signs of issues okay because that as you can see now, now I have a question. Would, like if this were my machine, we're not saying it is, but let's say it was, okay, would I be able to get that out of there myself? You should be able to with the hook, with the driver and the machine. All you got to do is remove. Yeah, we've, we, yeah, well, we have that cleaning video where remove I show how to remove the hook, okay? And I would see that because I recognize those little fingers there. Absolutely. Okay, so, but I would want to make sure if my machine is giving me tension issues, then I would kind of look there first and dig out that thread mm -hmm. and everything. Now, also, I wanted to ask, sometimes I call them thread boogers, but they get between that black thing and that little race ring down there. What causes that? That's just a, uh, a buildup of, of lint. And as the uh, hook driver spins around, yeah, it's just picking up all that extra lint there and just turning it into a little booger. It's really as you good say. at making perfectly round little boogers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is that something that, you know, I can get them out with tweezers, but if I don't pull them out, what happens? Those won't necessarily cause an issue unless they're big enough to put a little pressure on the hook driver to where it would make it flex just a little bit. And that causes and what? That, that would cause the finger to hit the race ring here. Um, you'll still get tension issues. Um, it could happen to where if it causes a jam, the actual finger would get stuck under the race ring. And then if that happens, then you would have to bring the machine in for a repair. All right, how long does it take to accumulate a piece of fuzz like that? Uh, like this one here? Mm-hmm. Not long. Just if, one if, little if, accident or something, Just right? one little accident, and, and if you don't make sure it's cleaned out after that accident, then you get that wrapped around your finger. And it can keep wrapping more around if you don't clean it out. Yep, that okay. could catch more. All right. Hey, you know what? This was really awesome that you shared this information with me. I do what I can. <laughs> Thanks, John. What do you think? Isn't that cool? Just a little bit of dust can get in the way like that or thread or whatever, and it causes like a domino effect. So I wanna tell you, first of all, there's nothing that's gonna replace what John can do back here with cleaning the machine. I mean like, yes, we can maintain the machine. We can always check around there to get out our little loose threads, get out those little pesky thread boogers and everything. However, at the end of the day, don't forget to bring in your machine for its annual maintenance. That's the thing that's gonna really help your Bernina, your little sewing buddy, last the longest that it possibly can. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tip and this little visit with John, and I hope you subscribe to our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel to see more tutorials. It's easy to do that. It's just youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville, and there you can like, comment, and subscribe.